Hey everyone, welcome back to FedBiz Exchange. I'm Michelle Brown, your coach and your mentor. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to look up your own company in SAM.gov, as well as other companies. And I'm going to show you how to find your own cage code. Even though you may not need it right now, you will need it. Once you start bidding, you will definitely need it. So here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is go to SAM.gov and you're going to get this picture. Then we're going to hit search records. I'm going to click on search records. It's going to take us to this page. I'm just going to start with a quick search. If you know your DUNS number, you can put it in here. OK, but I'm just going to start with a quick search. I'm going to start with Smith. Let's say the name of my company is Smith. And here I am right here, Smith Advisory Group, LLC. I'm going to click on that one and then hit search. And it's going to bring up my company, if that's my company. And this is what the page is going to look like. It's going to give me a lot of information about my company. It's going to tell me right, my registration is active. It's going to tell me my DUNS number, the types of awards that I do, when my SAM expires, and here is my CAGE code. Okay, now if I want to see more about my company, what's showing, I'm going to click on View Details right here. Once I click on View Details, it's going to give me the option to look at everything about my company. This is how other contracting officers can look you up. Even though they don't use SAM as much, they verify your SAM by making sure that you complete certain information and, and submit your reps and certs. But if they wanted to look you up just to make sure, this is what they would do. If they were looking for you from a marketing perspective, they would not come here. They would go to Small Business Dynamic Search, the DSBS database. OK, but this SAM does connect to the small business dynamic search. So what do I see up here? This is that same information we just looked at. Here is my cage code again. Here is the address of my company that I'm in the United States. Here is my expiration again. OK, my expiration of my SAM. Now I'm going to click on entity overview. No, let's just do entity registration because it will show everything about your company. I want you to see what it looks like from the outside. Remember, if you're not logged in, this is the information that everyone else can see. OK, so here is your again, your DUNS number up here. If you have a doing business name or doing business as name, I should say a DBA, it would be here. They don't have one. But here's all the other information about the company. Here's their business information, registration, um, their fiscal uh, year end, uh, what else? Their physical address, their points of contact are going to be down at the bottom, mailing address. And again, here's their cage code, okay? Here's the fact that they are the immediate owner, meaning they're not owned by another company. Um, they didn't buy any other company out. Here is their business structure. Here is the cage code. Again, you see how important this cage code is? You may not use it, but everybody else does, especially the government. Here is uh, what else? Your registration information is going to be down here a little bit further, but here are your goods and services. This company does not have any PSC codes. They obviously are not listening to me. Uh, they don't have any NACE codes. Not enough, I should say. They have a primary one and a secondary one. You know, I mean, I would be interested to know if they're winning anything. They may have done this because somebody told them to, and maybe they are winning something, but this is not very attractive uh, when it comes to contracting officers looking for you, trying to find you. Now, one thing I did not notice is, are they a small business or did they choose small? Well, they chose uh, S Corporation, so more than likely they are a small business because S Corporation is usually for small private businesses. Uh, what else? They're in real estate. Um, they don't have a lot of codes. 
but here are all their certifications, meaning all the things they agreed to. So all of this is kind of general, but the government gives you the option of answering these questions because some people could answer them a little bit differently. It depends on your situation, but here are your reps and certs right here, but that's it. I just wanted you to know what it looks like for your SAM when people are looking for you uh, from the outside in. Whenever we would get a new client, I would go in to look at their SAM to see if I had any suggestions once we started our consultation, because how you look in the government system does help you. doesn't really help anybody else, but it helps you. So that's it. You want to find yourself. You need to get your cage code. This is where you come to sam.gov. I will put that link in the comment section and go get your SAM code. Have it available just in case, especially for when you start bidding. And also your DUNS number. Keep all of this stuff together. Your DUNS number, your SAM code, excuse me, your DUNS number, your cage code, and also how your business is set up legally. Meaning a lot of times when they ask you for your company name, if it's a government official, they want to know exactly how it's set up in SAM. That's the only thing they go by. Okay. Thank you for joining me in this video and see you next time.